Grow My Cleaning Company teaches owners of cleaning companies just like you how to grow your company, make more money, and finally take charge of your financial future and your life. This podcast is about automating and creating systems that give you time and money freedom so you can grow like crazy without losing control. Since this is totally free, if you're getting tons of value, want to support us and make sure that you get more of the good stuff, subscribe, rate, and review to this podcast today. Now, on to the show. Hey, Grow My Cleaning Company Nation. This is not Mike. This is Jackson. Uh, Mike's go-to ad monkey genius, as he so says, hosting his podcast or the Grow My Cleaning Company podcast for today with uh, the wonderful Nick and April Kesseru. And I will let them kind of introduce themselves before we start asking them some questions specifically about their Google marketing uh, tactics and how that's been going over the past uh, few months and kind of uh, give you some tips and tricks on, on how we can do that for you guys on the other end. So uh, Nick, April, why don't you introduce yourself to the, the whole world? Hi guys, I'm Nick. Uh, we're with Pioneer Commercial Cleaning. We're out of Spokane, Washington. My name's April. We obviously do commercial cleaning and we've been in business since 2002. Awesome. So business for a long time. Have you been doing Google ads for a long time? Yeah, I, we started with you. Uh, our first Google ad was with you in October about it. Before then, we had been doing some mostly just referral marketing um, and then just face some little bit of Facebook, but not not too much success yet. Okay. Yeah, because I remember I remember back this was October of 2020. So October last year, I remember I was working with with Nick and uh, he had the the mindset of I, I'm not getting any impressions. Nobody's seeing my ads. Nobody's nobody's seeing I'm spending money and nobody's seeing my ads anymore. Um, I need more people to see my ads. Um, when in fact, that's really not the most important, right? Because I don't, a lot of people can see your ads. That's great. But if it's not people looking for commercial cleaning services, then they're not going to sign up or they're just going to see your ads and you're spending money for some Joe Schmo down the street who just lives in an apartment to look at your, your ad and maybe click or do something else. Um, does that sound about right? Yeah, exactly. When we, when we first started off, especially um, with the Google ad, I think we had been getting, um, you know, on our Facebook, you know, sometimes over a thousand impressions every single day off our Google too. It was, you know, like at least several hundred every single day. And then when we started doing the ad, I, I got very panicky because the ad was like literally some days it would display to 18 people. Um, some days it was a hundred people. Like we were, the impressions was so low. It was incredibly scary. Like this, this ad's not working, Jackson. There's only 18 or 30, 60 people saw the ad today. It can't be right. So it, it was a huge, huge learning transition um, for us, especially understanding what we even need to be looking for um, in an ad, what, what works, what doesn't work. Um, but yeah. Just understanding what works was, was the initial problem for us at least. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's probably, that's one of the most confusing and gratifying things to know with ads. When you don't know what's, what, what you need to like, what's important. Is it impressions? Is it my clicks? Is it how much am I spending? Um, and, but then once you do understand it and kind of have an idea of what you're looking for, then it's extremely, you can log in for the day, look at your ads and say, Oh, it got, it got 18. That's fine. I'm good with that. It got 18 impressions, but it got 10 clicks. That's fantastic. Um, and out of that 10 clicks, I got five, uh, five leads to, to generate out of it. Um, okay. So that was, that was October. We started in my mind, it was a good start in your mind. It was a rocky start. Let's, let's fast forward a little bit, November, December, uh, January, kind of what, what transpired during that time period? Uh, basically our ad just started getting, um, as it went, you know, we, it just had to learn. It took, it took several months of every single, basically every day we'd have to trim the ad, tell, you know, telling it not to go this way, what we wanted to do. And it um, slowly, the impressions never really changed much. They've been, they've stayed low, but our click through, it's just gotten up and up. And I think we started at like one and then we get three. And then we're like some, some months over four, uh, 4% for click through. Um, so basically as it went, we started getting calls. It would be a call for a carpet cleaning or for, you know, the weirdest stuff. Like, Right. 
Mm -hmm. the weirdest stuff like cleaning a briefcase or cleaning a shoe or just the, the stupidest cleaning related stuff we get and cleaning furniture yeah i'm trying to remember what else there's some other great ones there's in there so but very weird. anyway it's, it's, long story short it's ugh. i just remembered it was a septic cleaner oh, yeah, clean or septic pumping tanks. a septic tank you, you do that right <laughs> right you you clean out septic tanks cleaning. commercial <laughs> yeah yeah it's cleaning but but slowly, basically, they, we start as we filter these out, we stopped getting those calls. And then it was legitimately, it was just people who were like, not only just wanted what we were selling, but they actually, the marketing spoke to them. And then by the time they would call us, it was it actually, it was a warm lead, an, an actual warm lead. They, they kind of understood who we were, what we were selling and the, their impression, just the whole sales process was entirely different when, the, when, when we were speaking to them as a person instead of just buy cleaning buy cleaning no one cares everyone's selling cleaning they want a, a person on the other end it's what they're looking for and that's what kind of it did is it added it just personalized our ads awesome yeah you, you said uh, a couple big things that i kind of want to touch on there so starting off uh it took a couple months it took time oh yeah. um because i remember he you were we were working day in day out um and, and if, a, if a day went by where I didn't see Nick and we weren't talking, then it was weird for me. Because um, I remember, too, that I, I hadn't met you up to this point. I met you for the first time at the event in November. And it was, uh, it was pretty cool to finally meet the guy on the other end of the phone. But um, it took a couple months to optimize for that point. Um, was that like difficult for you in your head did you know this is going to take a little bit because i know I can, I can preach it i can tell everybody it's going to take time but it's money and it's not leads coming in immediately and that can be nerve-wracking for people did that like kind of have a, an effect on on things um it's it, uh it's scary for sure spending you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month when you you've never spent that before but for me like the, the second we started I, yeah, so the second I started learning actually what to look for and then basically understanding what I was seeing, it, I don't, it's not that scary anymore at all. It's, it, it can be, you know, a little bit crummy, like, how am I going to recoup all this money we're, we're throwing out at this? But the second, the second the phone starts ringing, it's entirely worth just the security of knowing that you can grow your business whenever you want to. Like literally today, we could take the call or the form we got and it'd be no big deal. So, um, so yeah, it is scary at first. It's very scary. It's, you're spending a bunch of money. You have no, no guarantee of return, but it's, it's really, it's a massive investment to the, into yourself, into the business to learn this stuff. Cause it's golden. And it, and it did, it took us, uh, I don't know how I many, four, about, about four months into it, we started actually recouping, um, the money that we were spending in ads. And now our actual monthly recurring revenue from our ad spend is more than we've spent spent on our entire ad working together since October. So but we make more month back in recurring revenue than we spent in, yeah, in any single month combined. So, um, so very worth it. <laughs> we'll, oh, so sorry. <laughs> um, we'll circle back to the, the actual results here real quick, but you, cause you said something really important there too, is, is understanding actually what's going in because in no way shape or form do you need to be an expert for this you're an expert in cleaning you're not a marketing guy um i'm a marketing guy i'm not an expert in cleaning um but just having it explained or like knowing is in high impressions good or high impressions bad what is actual like what is my click-through rate what does that even mean because google will just show you oh it's two percent it's four percent okay great is that good is that bad um but you said understanding that, you know, it does, doesn't make spending the money really any easier, but it makes when you get those calls and you get those results in, it makes it worthwhile because you remember, I know this is what's happening. I know what's, what's going on. Um, now, before I so rudely interrupt you, Miss April, what were you going to say? I don't know. Maybe I interrupted you. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> again, I'm just so going to sit here. I, I won't say anything. <laughs> Everybody forgive me right now, please. <laughs> um, I want to say when we were going through the modules, learning the clean profit method, we did feel like, whoa, how can you spend that much money 
on budget and marketing or on marketing in the budget. It felt like a lot, but now that we're doing it and we've gained in our revenue, it doesn't matter. (laughs) So that's a helpful tidbit for any who's looking into starting on down the marketing path. It will be okay. And and one other thing I could say about this too, is, is, is it is kind of scary and stuff at the beginning, but, um, you know, as, as business, business owners, we're all trying to like, I think every single person I know owns a business is just like, I wish I could just pay someone to do it, just pay someone to do it. And then I know it's done. And, and I think all of us have experienced that you can't pay something to do something that you don't understand and get good results. Typically. I mean, sometimes you get lucky and you find the right person who's just going to make your life amazing, but typically you have to actually understand at least a little bit so you can know what, what you want and how to get it. So, and that's definitely what I feel very confident that I could at least, if I couldn't handle my own marketing from now on, I would at least know the type of person I would want. <laughs> I could find another Jackson, I think. <laughs> not not a Jackson. There's only one Jackson, but I mean, I could find someone. I, I, I could communicate what I needed. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> We're not going to replace I would you. never replace Jackson. <laughs> you know, um, it makes it can communicate this stuff, which is yeah. powerful. I, I think you said something, we were talking, I think it was yesterday, you said, uh, goodness, I wish I could remember, because you said it so well, it was like, uh, the, don't trust someone with your money, just because you like want to get it done or something. Basically, what you just said, you said it perfectly. I was like, yes, that's 100% true. Because I've said this before, and I know Mike said it's before. And I know Jared, the other guy who works here um he he we all say ads aren't the magic wand and especially if you don't understand it even just a tiny bit to know like well is this good or bad um it it can make your your life a whole lot easier harder depending on what stage you're in now let's uh let's talk about what probably everybody wants to hear what 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 happened today what is it april 7th like what what have we spent what have you gotten back and how, how do you feel about it all as he goes uh, so to his cheat sheet? Yeah. <laughs> so I, so we've basically spent, um, since we've been working together, we've spent, like I said, we've spent about, uh, it's been about $3,000 in ad spend and we've picked up over $3,000 a month in recurring revenue. We've um, actually picked up 4,000 in recurring revenue. 4,000 a month. Right. Four thousand a month. So yeah. we spent three thousand since October, and we've covered that and then some just in a single month. Yep. And what's your what's your like typical retention rate? I know you've told me, but what's for everybody else out there? We it's I think we've lost two customers in twenty years, so it's up there. <laughs> I, I we don't have an actual number, but we, we plan on losing one a year just in case. But we've. We don't do that yet. So, that, so that's it, like it should 90, recoup more. <laughs> 99.9% of, of 999 customer retention rate at that point. Yeah. And I bet good. you the two that got lost were just like they sold their businesses or something silly like that. Yeah. They like, one of them went out of business in the area and we got, we got hardcore can from one, but <laughs> there anyways. Goes. But yeah, it's, it's, definitely, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm super glad to hear it. And, um, I guess we've, we've talked a lot about like tips or ideas and a mindset of, of just ads in general. And I know it can be very, I mean, I do this for a living and it's still intimidating to me a lot of the time. Um, I can't imagine how it is for, for someone, you know, who's just starting out. So like if you had to give maybe just three top tips uh, as a business owner who doesn't specialize in ads, what would you say, whether it be cleaning owners or just, uh, you know, business owners in general? Well, if you can hire a coach, <laughs> I would probably hire a coach. That's what I did. And it worked out fantastic. Um, other than that, I've read a lot of really good books, um, like the Seth Godin, All Marketers Liars books, great. The um, Brunson books are great. Um, I would say probably get help. <laughs> from someone you can trust it's number one thing what would you say also in following through and gaining the customers it helped me a ton to 
get as much value out, out of those practice sessions that Mike does with people and create your own little word bubble of what you're going to say to customers. <laughs> So following through on gaming the customer, you know, is another thing being quick to act and following up that day, getting them a bid that day. But being open minded really is huge It because it's very easy for me to discount it if I have to spend a lot of money. So that helped us a ton. Uh, probably the next thing I'd be it's if you have ads, you have websites or Google my business page. If you don't have that stuff, you should. And if you have that stuff and it doesn't have your actual anything on that, if it's not you, it's not nothing personalized to it. Like if your ads are super generic, if everything's super generic, I would make it, try to make it more personal to you and your business. Um, that's huge. And that's what kind of our ads are done. We started with these super ads. They're just like every other cleaning company in the world's ads. And now they're just more like stuff that I would say the stuff that she would say and and people hear that um so be be yourself more probably so knowing your core values is huge in that um and yeah then, there's some stuff we got to work on too like populating you know our pages facebook this and that and putting us on it more we know that has huge value so yeah. i i heard get help be open-minded um and and be unique essentially like so yeah. get, get help you know do your research read books um find awesome people like yourselves other business owners other groups or resources you can utilize grow my cleaning company for example huge resource huge group um be open-minded very very important it's um just uh like you said um you know under it's hard to do when you're spending that that kind of money um, and you want to just discount it and go, yeah, it's not going to work for me, especially in the cleaning, the commercial area. Oh, it's not going to work for me. Oh, my prospects aren't out there. Um, but being open-minded about that, learning from other people, seeing what other people do, and then be unique. Not so much as like you have to be the wild and crazy cleaning company, but instead really talk to live by your own values, talk to yourself, understand who you are, who you want to be as a company, and then really how you can speak to those, those, those customers. Um, Cause like you said, Nick, it's, it makes that, that process so much easier. And April, you can practice that and you understand you hone it in and you know, exactly like, you know what they're going to say before they even say, it, because you've done it so many times you've done it to the mirror. You've done it. You've bugged Nick while he's eating dinner and Nick, you've bugged April while she's like, <laughs> doing anything to <laughs> draw your time off. Um, yep. That's, that's fantastic. Um, so I think that that's going to just about do it for us here. Um, any, any closing remarks Any closing words, anything at all? One last thing. I, one more thing I would say is, uh, sorry, but <laughs> I, I, the other thing I would say is that it, just understand that you're kind of at, through the process, you're trying to learn what doesn't work. Um, Jared told me that at the beginning. He's like, stop trying to think about what works, what doesn't. He's like, you're learning what doesn't work so you can get rid of it and only stick with what works. So it costs money and time to learn all the things that don't work. But but when you find the things that do, it's super exciting and fantastic. So we, stick we, with it. We don't talk about Jared on this call. So okay. we'll just substitute that <laughs> for Jackson. Jackson told you that. No. And Jackson. also. Jackson's the man. <laughs> Always remember. You're so freaking good at this. Perfect. That that is that is the way to close it out. You're so freaking good at this. Okay, so I, I forget how Mike does his sign send offs. So I'm gonna do my own send off. Goodbye, grow my cleaning company nation. Um, go join the Facebook group for support. That's your first step in support. The grow my cleaning company uh, Facebook group. Plenty of awesome cleaning company owners. Nick's in there as well. So is April. You can bug them. Um, if you're looking for commercial cleaning services, they're up in Spokane. They've got an awesome cleaning, cleaning company with an amazing logo so um, that I truly love. But that'll do it. I appreciate, I appreciate your guys' time so much, and uh, see everybody later. Thank okay. you. See ya. You rock. 
Thanks for tuning in to today's show. If you're fired up, ready to grow, and want to see if you have what it takes to work with us at Grow My Cleaning Company, here's what I want you to do right now. Go to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk. That's growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk to book an appointment to speak with me personally. I'm going to jump on the phone with you to get you crystal clear on where you are now, where you want to be, and how to get you there. Don't walk around in the dark any longer. If you are serious about growing your cleaning company, it's time to finally get the systems in place that you need to grow. We've helped hundreds of owners of cleaning companies not only grow their business and their personal freedom, but give back to their community as well. If that's what you're looking for, head over to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk and book a time to talk with me personally. I can't wait to get to know you and your business.